It's time for a Can't Even with your host, Chris Kendall. Hello and welcome to I Can't Even Geek Week Special, the quiz show that tackles all things geek, like a school bully. As I say, I'm a, I'm a proper geek. I've uh, come as the Star Treks, yeah? Live long for prosperities. <laughs> and now it's time to introduce the guests. Uncle Scott, beam them up. <laughs> Our first team captain is Dan. <laughs> Dan is an internet cult leader who is best known for helping thousands of girls with their problems. And today he's come as the doctor, so I guess he's a gynecologist. <laughs> now to meet Dan's team, we like to give opportunities to up and coming YouTubers. Give it up for the new guy on the block. Charlie is so cool like. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris, for this opportunity. It's okay. <laughs> also on Dan's team, it's Tom Scar! <laughs> Tom has come dressed as the main character from the film Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the... He, he's come as Harry Potter, basically. <laughs> and captain of our second team is the amazing Phil! <laughs> and you've come as Pikachu. Are you feeling hot in that? Yeah. Good. <laughs> and on Phil's team, the better half of Jack and Dean certainly couldn't be with us today. <laughs> so we got Jack. <laughs> You're a big Spider-Man fan. I am. I thought we could maybe get you to audition oh, for Spider-Man. <laughs> so I've got a script there for you. Brilliant. Okay. And action. Hey, bad guys. Stop being naughty. I'm the Spider-Man. Do the splash. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. Well done, guys. <laughs> And finally, on Phil's team, it's Ashens, famous for reviewing Cheap Tat and actually one of my harshest critics. <laughs> Stuart Ashens! <laughs> Feel free to uh, take the beard off because it's made of wood. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and those are our teams. Woo! <laughs> Round one. Now, you may have noticed there are no girls on the panel. I can wholeheartedly assure you that this is simply because I'm sexist. And not because no girls wanted to talk to me. <laughs> but wait! There is one woman who likes me, and that is my trusty messenger owl, Medwig. Hark! Here she comes now with what I believe is... Yes, it's the questions! To our first round, Hedwig. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Medwig. <laughs> ah, fly. Please. Piss <laughs> off. Our first round is Quizards of Waverly Place. This is an intense trivia round designed to test the true geekdom of our panelists. We used one of the most powerful computers known to men, searching the darkest, murkiest depths of human knowledge. Thank you, Google. <laughs> Quiz begin. Dance team. What is the Konami code? Up, up. <laughs> Down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, star. Yeah! What? Nerd! <laughs> Phil's team, what does TARDIS stand for? Time and relative dimension in space. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks, Tommy Cooper. <laughs> what should you never do to a mogwai? <laughs> Shush! <laughs> should they feed it after midnight? Yep, feeding after midnight. And, and, and giving it water or water? water giving it water, yeah! yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've never seen that film. Filthy! <laughs> yes. If Batman is Bruce Wayne and Spider-Man is Peter Parker, who is The Flash? Uh, Wally West. You Which get one? a bonus point because I put Barry Allen, but you're right. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yeah, that really helps when you're a geek. I'm Spider-Man! It's okay, guys. I'm a cool geek. <laughs> what was the original Sega theme tune? Sega! All three of them need to do it. Okay, three, two, one. Sega! That's bad. What are Star Trek fans affectionately known as? Nerds. <laughs> We're going to have a few more questions now, but this is the first one to buzz in. Let's hear your buzzer. You, you got a bell. Can we have a listen of yours? Okay. First question. Who wore blue in the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtle things? Leonardo. Yes. DiCaprio. Wow. <laughs> what color pill lets you leave the Matrix? Red pill. Yes! Yeah. yeah! In the original Star Trek series, what was the serial number on the Enterprise? <gasps> NCC1701. Yes! Wow. Wow. Can 
can I switch teams? <laughs> <laughs> Final question. Why was Star Wars Episode One shit? Because <laughs> George Lucas is a prick. Correct! <laughs> and that's the end of that round. <laughs> round two. <clears throat> so, guys, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, oh, you're being Alex Day in his hit music video, Stupid Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what, isn't that the dance? <laughs> no, guys, I'm miming the classic scene from Star Wars, The New Hope, where Luke's trying to get out of the trash compactor. <laughs> <laughs> which brings me on to my next round, which is Minecraft. But where are my mime question things? I think... Yes, it's Medwig again, with the question thing. <laughs> and I'm over. Fine. Thank you. Yeah, he's very spicy oh, on the nips. Yeah. Why is it wet? <laughs> <laughs> In this round, one member from each team must act out famous geeky movies while teammates try and guess what they are. You're against the clock, so try to do them as quickly as you can. Dan's team first, who are you going to nominate for this? Charlie! <laughs> Take your cards and take your place in the Mime Zone! <laughs> <laughs> Begin! Star Trek. Narnia. Yep. Wow. <laughs> nice cupboard. Oh. Narnia. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's having a breakdown. <laughs> Terminator? I mean, ro is there a robot oh, so involved? Transformers? Yeah, there we go. Hey. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I get it now. Alien. Alien. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well done, guys. Oh, that was really good. Good job. Good. Wow. Let's move on to Phil's side. Okay, who are you nominating for this? Hmm. Make it look as if we didn't arrange it before. Okay. I'll just get up there now. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, woo! <laughs> No checking me out, don't do that. And begin. Lumpy Spider-Man. The Matrix. Oh, Matrix. The Matrix, Matrix Reloaded. Thank you. My head is Tom Scar. Oh, come on, Harry man. Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter and Harry the Potter. Chamber of Secrets. Uh, yeah. Spinning. Um, Star Wars Phantom Menace. Wow. Was that the double lightsaber? <laughs> that was the double lightsaber oh. there. I was in the soundtrack in my head as well. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> 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 Monkey attack. Uh, uh, oh, the apes, yeah. oh, well done, Jack! That's good, Jack. I personally love the film Monkey Attack. <laughs> <laughs> Round three. So, next round, and we're going to play Dungeons and Dragons, but for copyright reasons, we can't call it that. So, we're going to call it uh, Cave Systems and Fire Lizards! Yeah. Cave Systems and Fire Lizards. Watch yourself in the caves. There's lizards. <laughs> I went to private school when I was younger, and I was genuinely not cool enough to play Dungeons and Dragons. This is the depressingest table I've there. ever sat at <laughs> my entire life. You were about to embark on a quest so difficult, so confusing, that my friends at Games Workshop are calling it underdeveloped. <laughs> 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 Team A, you have been given a pistol, a seaside bucket, and troll spray. <laughs> Team B, you have been given a sack of coins, I think. A sack of summit. <laughs> I can assure you it's a sack of coins. <laughs> you have also been given a fire extinguisher and an axe. Here is where you begin your quest, but just three steps into your mission, you encounter a troll! <laughs> oh, but not an internet troll, mind, for this one is able to use reason and logic. <laughs> Which of your items will you use to defeat him, and why? Dan's teams. Well, we have troll spray. Yeah. True. I mean, that seems like the obvious choice. Oh, ah, oh no, no. no. <laughs> Charlie, let him have it. Go, 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 go. Don't, Great. don't do it. <laughs> 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 so you've selected troll spray? Yeah. Tear 
terrible move! Ooh. The troll spray is just a can of trolls! <laughs> <laughs> so you've sprayed extra trolls everywhere, they pull out one eye each and give you a variety of diseases. But the can... <laughs> it says kills it's, trolls! It says kills trolls. A props error. <laughs> His team. I feel like if he can understand logic and reason, we can just pay him off. But it's a bad example to give to children if they're watching. If a troll attacks you, just pay it. Seriously, it's not that well thought out. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with my team, pay the troll. The troll eats the coins because he is stupid and he dies of coin poisoning! Yeah. <laughs> As you cross the bridge, you come across an old man guarding the gate. Oh yes, there is a gate. <laughs> <laughs> the old man sizes you up, and he likes what he sees, but do not fear, he is no pervert. He has the key to the gate. Use one item to get past the man and through the gate. Pop a cap in his ass. I don't know, this now, is a pretty Now he has, he has a gate, so one can assume he's a farmer. Mm. Farmers always need buckets. Wait, what's that on the bucket? It's a starfish. So it's a magical bucket. Mm. Safe to um, <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> this is blank. <laughs> but it is. This is <laughs> <laughs> Unless we can figure out how this works, I think we should kill this, this guard. But Why? He hasn't done anything to us. <laughs> but we have a gun. In the like, past five minutes, he's just resorted to murder. I am that old man. <laughs> no. Oh, when, when did you do these things? Between edits. Old man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you going with gun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, got the wizard. What now. voice was that? <laughs> Are you going with gun? Oh, the wizard's back. Yes. <laughs> you shoot the old man and also steal all of his stuff. This is good for your quest, but you will end up in hell because you've stolen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. That's all right. Charlie will be there. But Phil's warriors, what have you chosen? I'd spray him in the face with a fire extinguisher. I agree. He may yeah. survive. Yeah. Oh, well, we're going to spray it in his face. You spray the man with the fire extinguisher, and he gets very wet and confused. He gets very upset, and you've ruined his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we killed him on his birthday. birthday. <laughs> so, warriors. You finally reach the dungeon cave system. <laughs> a fierce and ferocious dragon, cave uh, lizard, fire lizard, is asleep on top of all the riches in the world. Piles upon piles of gold unicorns, pots, <laughs> tazos, basically anything you can imagine. Phil, <laughs> what can you imagine here in this cave of wonder? Sarah Michelle Gellar riding on a diamond Segway. Oh. <laughs> That's wow. my dream. Phil's team, what have you decided to use? The axe. You cut the dragon, but he's massive, so it just feels like a paper cut. He burns you out of anger. So are we dead? Yes. Shh. Dead. Dan's team. I mean, we're not really interested in the pile of dragons and Tazos, so... Yeah, I mean, mm. can, can we just leave, and then we get to take a bucket home? I, mean, I, go to the beach. I mean, yeah, ultimately we're up a bucket. You totally won. I'll tell you what would have happened. You try to use the bucket as a muzzle on the dragon. Yeah. This works. However, he is a massive dragon, so he stamps you to death. Oh. oh. You avoided death. Well done, team! Oh. Yeah! You can't use it. You're the doctor. Your mum. <laughs> Warriors! I hope you enjoyed your quest. And if you at home would like to play, pick up your own copy of Cave Systems and Fire Lizards at your local <laughs> games workshop in the alley round the back, because the shop will not stock it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. By the By power, power of four. four! It's round four. So, guys, it's clear that you're all pretty geeky about... Stop! <laughs> you're all pretty geeky about facts from things in the, you know, the past 10, 20 years. But let's put you to the real test and see how you handle questions from the future! This is my time machine. It's very expensive, high-tech piece of equipment to prove this is a real time machine. I'm just going to pop my hand in there. And if we set it to the past, you can quite clearly see. <laughs> 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 <It's>... <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> the what? past. Oh. Help. There. Proven. And now to get the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Set it for the future. Ah. Oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Are we ready to play? Back to the future. Tom, who plays the next Doctor? Royal Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Who won World War IV, Phil? The Cats. It was Believers. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I still doing the Games Master voice? <laughs> Chris, you shouldn't mess with time like this. Watch out for the time police. <laughs> what? Anyway, forget that. Charlie! What finally killed Super Mario? Princess Peach mm. in the castle with the axe. Correct! <laughs> Jack. In 2024, which president re-released their hit single Poker Face during their second term? In the car car? Ah, got it! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! What was the only thing to survive the nuclear holocaust? The raptor that repopulated the world. No, it was new episodes of The Simpsons. <laughs> Phil! Yes? What killed the last ever panda? Japan. It was another panda. <laughs> <laughs> Tom! Hi! In 2022, who was best man at Dan and Phil's wedding? <laughs> <laughs> A terrifying crossfeed of you and PJ. Correct! <laughs> Actions? What was the first thing Netflix did in 2019 when it became sentient? Destroyed every director DVD movie. No, uh, there were too many options, it couldn't decide. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, watch out for the time police, Chris. You're messing with the laws of time. I don't know. What is this about? <laughs> Charlie! Where was Wally all along? He was in your pants. Charlie, kinky. <laughs> 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 no, he was inside books being sold at car boot sales. <laughs> Phil, yes. in the year 2129, what is the most common baby's name? <laughs> <laughs> Correct! <laughs> That's the end of the round! <laughs> well, that's the end of the show! <laughs> At the end of all that, our winners, the official biggest geeks of the internet, are Dan Team! <laughs> so, Dan, would you like to take your place in the prize giving area? <laughs> what time is it, sorting hat? It's time for pri it's time for prizes! Dan, this is your prize. Okay. But obviously, you're going to have to get it out like Mario. So if you put that hat on. Okay, I'll, I'll defez. Yeah, this is the Mario official Mario hat from the games. Mm -hmm. And uh, pop that mustache on you. Oh, you look really good. <laughs> Take your position under the box. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Am I under the box? Wait. No. A bit more. Are you ready? I am ready. Come on, come on. There you go. Ready? Three, two, one. Dan, I'm you've won a box of confetti. <laughs> <laughs> Please take your seat. Bye! <laughs> so, that's the end of I Can't Even Geek Week special. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks to all my guests, Tom Scar, Dan is not a fire, Chance of Fuller, Jack Howard, The yeah. Basic Trill, yeah. Action! Yeah. And I've been Chris Kendall. <coughs> bloop, bloop. Uncle Scott. Set it to max speed nine. Engagement. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone.